Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Zeke, Dogumentary TV, YouTube channel for dog lovers. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. The world of purebred dogs can be basically broken down into probably two categories, uh, working line versus show line. Both lines can produce amazing family companions, but if you're going to be looking for a family pet, you have got to be asking the right questions for your personal situation. Working line dogs are bred with the prime directive of producing dogs that can perform the job the breed was created to do. Uh, show line dogs are dogs that are bred with, I guess, a prime directive to fit into kennel club standards. Sometimes these standards can send the breed's direction awry. There are some horror stories with certain breeds where that has happened. So the basic logic of buying your purebred dog would be if you're looking to do work with your dog, you want to buy your dog from a working line breeder. If you're looking to participate in confirmation shows, you would be better served going to a show line breeder. What does a person who's looking to bring a dog into their pet home, uh, where do they go? I say you can go either place, but like I said, you're gonna have to be sure that you're asking the right questions. Now, show line dogs typically are gonna have lower drive. They're gonna be easier to socialize. And because more people are breeding for the show ring, you'll probably have an easier time or a bigger selection of dog breeders to choose from. Uh, the dogs are gonna have less drive and be easier to socialize because they come from dogs who participate in confirmation shows. And basically a confirmation show will have 15 to 20 dogs, maybe more, in a confined space. They'll move through a dog show, which means there'll be people and dogs around. Typically, your high energy, your high drive dogs will not do well in these situations. Your working line dogs, because they are bred to work, will have a higher drive. They should be healthier, and that's because they're bred, they're being bred not based on any kind of cosmetic look, but they're actually being bred to perform a function. And you want to breed your better workers to create better workers. Typically, the better workers are the healthier dogs. And because the world doesn't have the need for as many working dogs, they may be harder to find, and they may be a bit more expensive. If the breeder identifies a puppy that he doesn't think is going to be an elite worker and probably would do well in a pet home, he very well may sell you a working dog from his program. What would you ask a working line breeder if you were trying to get a dog for a pet home? Well, you're going to hope that he can identify puppies that will be less drivey and more social. Now, you can find this in working line dogs. A working line breeder is probably going to still insist that you as a pet owner have some sort of activity. It is irresponsible for a working line breeder to sell a dog with working genetics into a home where the dog will not get any kind of mental and physical stimulation. The questions that you're going to ask a show line breeder will be totally different. Now, let me go back real quick to the working line. Obviously, we want to make sure that all dogs are health tested, whether you buy from a working line or show line. Always get health tested. You also want to make sure the dogs are temperament tested. Now, with the show line, health testing becomes more important because of some of the inbreeding and line breeding that goes into creating show dogs. There is some evidence that that can have negative health implications on puppies. Uh, in addition, you're going to want to check the temperament of the dogs. You're going to want to make sure, even though it is show line, that it is suitable for a pet home. Because some, some working dogs that come out of show line programs have elite working genetics and probably would be better suited to be moved into a working home or a what I would, what I would consider a recreational working environment, meaning that maybe you're not a full-time hunter, maybe you don't do full-time police work, but you do some protection work, you do some hunting so that the dog is getting some stimulation. And guys, I hope you guys understand that neither working line nor show line, there is no better, uh, there's just different. Uh, the better comes into what's better for you, your situation, uh, and make sure that you guys are doing your research. 
Don't just look at the litter. Don't just look at the parents. Look at the breeder's program. Look for a history of success, whether it be within the show ring or within working competitions or actually just working environments. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Good luck on your search, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.